morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you are and whenever you're watching this video welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube show for the newcomers my name is Didi Taihutu three and a half years ago when we as a family sold literally everything we owned our house, our cars, our companies everything went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world now three and a half years later still traveling the world coming to you guys from Alicante in Spain in today's video we are going to talk about the Bitcoin price because we touched 12k for the fourth time also going to show you with beautiful charts what we are going to do next with Bitcoin also looking at Ethereum charts and also looking at the Litecoin charts and yes we will also take a deep dive into the darknet and look at Pornhub what is happening over there with all these beautiful porn stars enjoy today's video Today guys, a short video going to walk around the place where we are staying. So let's take a walk and talk about blockchain, Bitcoin and life. I think Kenzo is joining me again. What are you doing? Kenzo, what are you doing? Hmm? Yes, Kenzo is joining me today. I need to wait with filming because they are doing the gardens and all that stuff here around the house. After a few cool days, it's he, it's warming up again in Spain. I think it will be 35 degrees again. The sun is really warm on my head. That's why I'm wearing this cap. Also because I want to show that I'm huddling and I hope you're huddling as well, of course. But it's too warm to have my long hair loose in my neck. It sweats, it's filthy warm. Um, beautiful, I like it because I prefer the hot weather above all the cold, we cold weather in Europe. So that's why we are staying in Spain at the moment. But again, we are looking for a new destination. Maybe we will stay in Spain, but maybe we will leave to Portugal, Greece, Croatia, or any of these countries. We have this feeling that there would, could be another lockdown. So we need to choose very wisely where we want to be locked down, if this is going to happen. And yes, today again wearing a new shirt, this one. Zoom out on B, zoom in on life. I love these new shirts, all available in the store. And I can see more and more people are ordering the shirts on the store, which is crazy cool because I get to donate 25% of all these profits now to charities in the near future. I don't know where Kenzo is running, he just took off. But I don't worry, he probably will find his way back to me or to the house. And I think there is Kenzo again. Yes, he's coming back. He's joining me again. Yes, we just broke 12K again for the fourth time in 2020. I think all the four times happened in August, but it was the fourth time we touched the 12K level with Bitcoin. The thing we need to do now is we need to flip this resistance area of 12K into support. So the 12K price needs to become a support price instead, in, instead of this resistance price. This is not easy as there is a huge resistance around 12k, but in my opinion, we are going to do it. In my opinion, there are like three scenarios that could play out now. The first one that is we're going to follow the stock to flow chart and that will mean that we will, yes, break the 12k, the 13k, the 16k and probably even create a new all time high somewhere in November this year. That is one scenario. The second scenario is that we now go sideways for some time between 10K and 13K. So we keep bouncing 10 to 13, 10 to 13, 10 to 13. And I think the third scenario is that we could break 12K, create 12K as a support level, and then go sideways between 12K and 14K for some time. Same thing we saw from 8 to 10K going up and down, up and down. We will then see for a couple of weeks from 12 to 14k, 12k 14, 12k 14. Beautiful time again for alts to start running even harder than they already do. I will continue talking about the Bitcoin price in a minute. I also want to talk about some other stuff. Um, yes, did you see that this guy who was a moderator for the Darknet website Alphabay, he was just a moderator. So he was, you know, handling all the problems between sellers and buyers. And he was searching for scammers on the website. He was just prisoned 11 years cell. So he needs to go into jail 
for 11 years because of being a moderator, there was paid in Bitcoin, but being a moderator, moderator of a darknet website. So now even the moderator job is an illegal job if you moderate a website where they sell all kinds of stuff that probably is not allowed. So you're not the owner of the website, you're not selling the stuff, you're not buying the stuff, you're only a moderator on the website and that already gives you 11 years jail time. How much jail time will the owner of this website get? Or the sellers or the buyers on this website get? Probably they will never get jail sentence because probably they will never find them. Oh yeah, and one more cool news. I think this is the coolest news. Pornhub, yes, Pornhub is accepting Bitcoin and Litecoin as of today. Yes, of course, they already accepted Verge, I think since 2018. It was a huge announcement in 2018. You could pay all your porn um, subscriptions now with Verge. Now you can also pay them with Bitcoin and Litecoin, which is really cool because now, if you wanna hide from your wife that you're jerking off on Pornhub, you can do this by paying your monthly subscription with Bitcoin and Litecoin. She will never see them back on your credit card slips or your bank account slips or whatever because you're now paying privately and safely with Bitcoin, Litecoin on Verge. For watching your favorite porn actress, Pornhub already shared the numbers that about 10% of all the performers, yes, we refer to them as performers, 10% of these performers want to be paid in crypto. How cool is this? We need to get this amount of performers up. We need to have 20 to 30% of performers wanting to be paid in crypto. That would be way cool because then again, the porn industry would be the biggest accelerator of mass adoption of this new innovation in money. Why? Again, because porn was also the biggest accelerator of the adoption of credit cards. Porn made it possible for these credit cards to become huge and widely adopted as a payment tool online. That was porn that did it. And hopefully porn will now do it again for Bitcoin, Verge, Litecoin, and probably in the future many other currencies that you can pay your porn with these cryptocurrencies and that all these actresses and all these performers will be paid in cryptocurrencies as well. Then the circle would be complete. I completely forgot to mention guys that Pornhub is the ninth biggest website of the world. They have about 130 million visitors per day, about 3 billion visitors per month. This is an insane huge website that now starts to accept Bitcoin, Litecoin and already accepted Verge. So hopefully Pornhub will announce that they now accept Bitcoin and Litecoin by doing a mail to all the members of Pornhub so then we could reach by billions of people and now they will see again that they can pay with Bitcoin, Litecoin and Verge. So they will also start to investigate into these cryptocurrencies. Completely forgot to share this part while I was walking there in nature and talking about Pornhub. You can understand me, please forgive me. Probably my mind just wandered off to all these beautiful images in Pornhub. So take a look at Pornhub. You can now pay with Bitcoin guys. But guys, let's get back to the Bitcoin price because you don't want to talk about porn. You want to talk about Bitcoin. At least that is what you tell your wife. <laughs> That's what I tell my wife. <laughs> no, I'm getting my uh, fair cut of what I need every week, month. You know, I'm very happy. Happy, happy long time. Happy, happy long time. <laughs> But let's talk about Bitcoin. So we saw that Bitcoin went all the way up to 12K and now fell down again. And we are around 11,800 US dollar per Bitcoin at the moment, which is a crazy cool level. Because if you look at this chart, bam, on this chart, you can see that we have a trend line. This trend line is coming up and this trend line is around 11,650 now. So yes, we could drop all the way to this trend line, 11,650, but then again, bounce from this trend line upwards to 12K and then eventually break this 12K region and take Bitcoin to 12,200 or 12,300. We are now around 11,800. This is also the 50% Fibonacci retracement level. If you calculate the jump from 11,500 
to 12,200 and then the 50% Fibonacci retracement level would be around 11,800 so we are just following the Fibonacci retracement levels at the moment and yes again we could dip a little bit to 11,650 to this trend line that is coming up which would be the next support but then expect a bounce again to 12,000 12,200 US dollar per Bitcoin and I think Lisa is also agreeing because if we take a look at Lisa's chart bam at this one the very cheerful colorful Lisa chart you can see we are now in the fourth wave this fourth wave can fall down indeed to 11,600 11,500 and then we should see a bounce into the fifth wave that would take us to 12,200 300 ish and then we can see again a pullback back to 11,800 this could be playing out if I look at Lisa's charts and yes at the end we will break these levels again and then take Bitcoin up to 16k and even higher to the new all-time high above 20k also the weekly chart and the monthly chart both of these charts bam and bam both of these charts are still bullish in my opinion we again created a new weekly higher low we still need to create a new weekly higher high but we are almost doing that when we will break the 12k region the monthly close again was very positive it was the second highest monthly coast ever in bitcoin so if we can close the september month also higher again than this august month we can see a clear trend also on the monthly and the weekly chart the trend is still upwards as soon that we can see a lower low then the trend could be reversing so let's see if that is going to happen i'm also looking a little bit at the gold charts people are saying the gold charts are topping out I don't know if this is true I think maybe there's a small more stretch in gold but if there isn't a stretch in gold and gold would be dropping down then I still believe that Bitcoin is way more powerful than gold because they know there is only 21 million Bitcoins around and we don't know how many gold there is on the world both of these currencies are going up in my opinion because the, do the dollar value is decreasing every day yes if you look at the dollar charts you can see that there is even almost a dead cross on this do dollar chart so this means that the dollar will go down in value and that means that it's positive for bitcoin and gold because if people are losing their value because the dollar is declining in value then people will want to hedge their dollars into gold or bitcoin for example are you tired are you tired hmm he is a very happy dog. And guys, wow, did you see this huge spike in Ethereum? 480 US dollar per Ethereum. That was a really cool run. Yes, I am still investing in Ethereum, of course. I'm huddling my ETH as well, my Ethereum as well. And yes, um, I think if we look and if we take a look at the Ethereum chart, bam, this one, you can see that we could pull back to 460 US dollar per Ethereum and then again run up to try to break the $500 level. I already told you a few weeks ago in my videos when Ethereum was still around 380 US dollar that there was a possibility of Ethereum to go to even 600, 600 US dollar per Ethereum. I still believe that Ethereum will reach $600 in the near future, but let's first break this $500 level. So again, we are around 480 US dollar. We can fall back to 460 US dollar. You buy again there and you take the run to 500 US dollar. And then maybe we can create this beautiful support level on Ethereum of 500 US dollar. And from there build again some waves up to 600 dollar and then keep repeating these patterns all the way up to the top of this new bull run. Litecoin also always in my portfolio, still huddling my Litecoin. Litecoin, let's take a look at the Litecoin chart. Bam, this is the Litecoin chart. On this chart, you can see that the biggest resistance level in Litecoin is 65 US dollar. We need to break the 65 US dollar level to take it up to the 70 dollar level or even the 90 dollar level in the near future. At the moment, we can see on the four hour chart that we are creating this head and shoulder pattern, inverted head and shoulder pattern, and that we are now creating this right shoulder. This right shoulder could put Litecoin around 59 US dollar. So we will fall back now from the 62 US dollar level to the 59 US dollar level. And if we then take the length from the neckline till the head, till the top of the head, and we put that one on top of the shoulder, then we can see that we would be able to break the 65 US dollar level. And then if we would be able to break the 65 US dollar level, we will take it up to 72 US dollar, then go sideways a little bit over there, and then take it up to 90 US dollar per Litecoin. So yes, 
hodling my Litecoins, hodling my Ethereum, and hodling my Bitcoin. Guys, I'm recording this while editing the video because Bitcoin just dropped tremendously. This probably all has to do with uh, the exchange BitHump being raided by the police in South Korea. So we saw a drop in Bitcoin all the way down, down to 11,200 levels instead of the 11,600 levels that I thought that would be support. Bitcoin did rebound already to 11,400, 500 level. So I think the charts I was just talking about, yes, are not completely correct, but I think we will recover till these levels in the charts so that um, also, again, the things I talked about in the charts or during these charts will be good as well. So we are still good to go to go all the way up to 12K. At least we need to hold this 11K level for the next couple of hours. Then I think Bitcoin will be able to recover the 11,600 level. And aside of these top three, of course, I'm also huddling my uh, trading portfolio, my altcoin trading portfolio. And out of the top of my head, I am huddling PNT, CTSI, IOST, Koti, Beam, Kai, Dot, I think one, O-N-E, and Win. I think I have them all. Um, to be sure, I will make a screenshot of the altcoins I am hodling at the moment, so you can see if I will make profit on these altcoins in the near future. Why am I still in these trades? Because guys, we got stuck in this range now. We need to wait for Bitcoin to move. And then when Bitcoin moves and goes sideways again in this new region, then I think these altcoins will boom, explode upwards as well. That is exactly the moment I will be taking my profit in these altcoins. Because if I look at the charts, then we are still on track of all the targets that are forecasted for these altcoins i am also copy trading on prime xbt guys prime xbt is a really cool trading platform you can spot trade you can leverage trade your margin trade but you can also copy trades so follow other traders let them do the trades for you and you just make the same profits they are making and from your profits make on prime xbt i think about 20 percent um, goes to the traders and about 10% will go to the exchange. So, so your share of the profit will still be between 60 and 75%, which is really cool because you don't need to do any work. They do all the trading and you just share in the profits. That's why I like Prime XBT. I also like Prime XBT because they have this really cool feature called turbo but that one is only for adrenaline addicts like me because then you can like gamble a little bit on the bitcoin bitcoin price going up or down in the next minute in the next five minutes in the next 15 minutes and then you just put in your bet and if bitcoin goes up in the next minute you make money if bitcoin go drops down in the next minute you lose the amount of bitcoins you're playing with yes you can play with 0 0.00001 bitcoin but still, if, the, if Bitcoin moves the opposite way than you thought it would, you will lose your Bitcoin. Same like margin trading, but then very short, like in a minute. Really cool, addictive future. So if you are addictive to gambling, don't look at that future at PrimeXBT because you probably will lose some money if you can't stop playing this turbo game. For the other ones that want to copy trade Lisa or any of the other traders that are making shit load of profits over there, like I saw 200%, 300% profits in a month. So if you want to copy trade them, then sign up to Prime XBT. Use my referral link down below this video and you will receive a 50% deposit bonus. So if you sign up using my referral link, you get a 50% deposit bonus, which is a huge bonus to sign up to an exchange. That was all the information for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your communities, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified on every new video, and please leave a comment because I love to reply to your comments. We need to educate each other because by educating each other, this community will become stronger and we need each other to disrupt the monetary system we want to disrupt as a crypto community. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you tomorrow again. And please remember to always zoom out in crypto and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living. And that is exactly why I'm wearing this shirt. Yes, also available in our store at thebitcoinfamily.com. Thanks for watching. Hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bye.